A lone seagull greets the dawn as it paints the windswept profile of Walker's Cay, a mile-long island suspended in perpetual summer at the northern gateway to the Bahamas. Once the lair of pirates, Walker's in recent years has been a major port of call for the big game angler. He comes not with cannon, but strong tackle and powerful boats. But the treasure he seeks lives in the deep regions of the ocean. But today, the big game angler has been joined by a new restless breed. He fishes from smaller boats with lighter tackle, and he travels the world, forever pushing back the frontiers of sport fishing. This series is about this new breed. with us as we travel the leading edge of light tackle angling. Each expedition will begin here at the world-class fishing resort known as Walker's K. Our guide is Flip Pallet, angling champion, teacher, and official keeper of the Walker's K Chronicles. Pallet has been perfecting the technique of light tackle angling for three decades, setting scores of international records. When he isn't guiding in the Florida Keys, he's here at Walker's teaching his special art or telling friends the details of his latest probe into sports fishing's far country. Today, Flip Pallet goes go. after one of the flat's toughest and most willing competitors, the shark. But on this day, in this place, he finds more frustration than fight. Now, what did I do there? Flip, it looked perfect. You got you gently just nudge him with that thing. He just got his attention. start fishing in the immediate backyard of Walker's Cave in the northern Bahamas at the end of a long white beach that curls at one end, forming a depression in the marl next to a natural gateway from the flats to the ocean. Time when it was real calm, uh -huh. and all along that uh, breaker line there, right, it's pretty solid. It's the awfully hard. Couldn't find anywhere to break. We're after what is perhaps the most misunderstood of all the fish on the flats: the shark. You know what Looks I've fishing. wondered. If there was a way to bust out and fish some of those coral heads with some jigs, uh -huh, right. maybe catch some yellowtail oh, or snapper, or barjack, something in those deep channels right out there on those heads. I love fishing them on white bottom like that. I do too. Got it so neat. Believed by many to be easy to catch, but not worth the effort, the shark is not only a strong fighter, it can be very difficult to hook. And sometimes you can work all day without even getting a single strike. Believe me, I know. My friend John Donnell eases the skiff close to the area where we've seen sharks many times when hunting for bonefish. And they don't disappoint us. Boy, there are they sleeping? Yeah, they're just laying in that current, I think. There are at least six lemon sharks laying like logs in the brilliant white shallows. All between three and five feet. It's gonna take some teasing, I think, to get him moving. Wake up, get up. Wake up. Are you sure that's a shark? Wake up. Ooh, good cast, good cast on him. Oh, here he comes, he's coming. He's 
little smaller ones would be a little hungrier. Come on, get up, wake up. Well, he's showing a little life there. Make him eat it, make him eat it, make him eat it, make him eat it. Ooh. <laughs> well, that was a good job of teasing. He had his mouth wide open. Let me try him one more time, dude. Oh, here he's coming good, he's coming good, he's coming good. Yes, yes, yes. Get him flip. Yeah, good job, good job. Way to go. Did you see how yellow he is? That is a yellow lemon shark. Which is <laughs> he's lit up good. Because of yellow. Bonanza. Bonanza. <laughs> That rock, you okay flipping that rock? I think I am. That's an odd. He's a little bigger shark than we realize. That's all right. They're such Good. great, underrated game fish sharks. Difficult to set a hook on a shark. That's the really neat thing about them is you just have to take such a good cast. Wait. Going it right there. I think we. I think we're looking better. You know, to me, it's incredible how aggressively he hit that plug, and it makes me think back to last August when we were down oh. here and fished for a couple oh. of days, and we could not buy a shark strike. The back I still thought shark fishing was fun. You're not having fun? I'm not having fun, I love them, I really do. <laughs> I'm not having fun. The day began as this one had, seeing sharks on the first stop. Here he comes. Oh, oh just had a, boy, is he hot? Yeah, he's hot. Oh, shoot. I think he's gonna eat if I just can get it to him. Hold on. Take had, it easy. Take it I'm easy. I'm all excited. These things make me crazy. I, I spooked him. He ate it good. I had that, uh, I had a little jack come up and hit it. See a little jack following yeah, me? Yeah, I did. That shark ate this fly good. He had it good. <laughs> Pulled it out, stuck it right immediately in my arm. Wrapped yeah, it around. Is your arm okay? You would think after all these years that I could just calmly collectively, collectively, <laughs> collected, get a fly to a... Hey, when we do see these things, they yeah, are eating. tuned up. I wanted a total seizure on that one. <laughs> Take yeah. it easy. Boy, he sure can't. I mean, I think if I could have gotten it back to him, um, we would have been on, because he was going in circles looking for it, but I had it wrapped around a tip about five times. another flat, where instead of seeing a shark, I spotted another predator of equal notoriety. Yeah, take a look at 11 o'clock. Let me turn you. Okay. Let me give, just, just give a down one shot her. Yes, 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 lovely. Likes it. That's a nice cuda, bud. Well, that's a serious cuda. See, that was fun. So God, that was a pretty neat bite, huh? I know. I thought I saw him. It almost. I wasn't sure what I was looking at there. Wait. Oh, big boy. Sometimes they do some great jumping. Yeah, he's getting ready to do some acrobatics here. He doesn't even know he's hooked yet. Whoa. Wow! It's like a skyrocket there. I can't, I got some bad news. I can't even see the CB in there. Uh, that thing could be. I think he's devoured it, huh? Yeah. Here we go. Ooh, I jumped. Look, you gonna grab or what? Do you want me to grab this guy? <laughs> I can get him. You want me to grab him? Yeah. Tell you what, come here, big boy. If I can just get it. God almighty. <sighs> this is where I'm gonna need some help right here, Flip. <laughs> Why, you want me Look, to reach? Look, the back end of my plug off. I've never had one do that before. You want me to reach in there and take that plug out? 
Are you no, nuts? No, let me get it. I think I can get it with my teeth. Wait a minute. I'll... Wait. I'll... 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 I got my hands full here. I got a hand. I've what? never seen, I've never had one. I've never had one. Eat all the way through a coot. Here you go. Through a... the CB like that. Okay, go ahead. Boy, he is just. Yeah, he's upset. Big boy, let's see, I think he's in pretty good shape. Let's see here. All right. Yeah, he's a little confused, but. The big snaggletooth cuda finally regained its bearings and moved off into deeper water. And we resumed the shark hunt, pulling our way down the ocean side of the flat to a series of limestone outcroppings known to us as a favorite haunt of lemon sharks. Well, those things aren't real happy with us, are they? I don't think that's a real friendly uh, bunch of terns. They're just being a look little territorial. Look how pretty they are. That little, that little orange, that little black on their head. That's really a. Well, that they're holding their ground though. I mean, they're not, they're not giving in a bit. That's their rock. Yeah. Although there were plenty of turns, there were no sharks on this side of the flat. So I pulled us across the current to the edge of a small island, where the ocean current was running strong. Flip, is that a shark right there coming down that edge? Uh, Can't really it tell. Sure is. Oh, do you see him come up? Jeez. He wouldn't commit to it, would he? He kind of wanted it. I guess he didn't have a good smell or something. He, uh, well, you sure, sure thinking about it. Oh, gone him. They don't give you a second chance, do they? Sure don't. Once they miss it the first time, it's all over. It can be such a fabulous bite, too, boy. It can really be a good, good, hard bite. You know, it's hard to you figure know, out what you can do differently. It looked all flip, good you know to what, me. You know what I might try different? I might try maybe um, a darter, a little different plug, something that'll right, make a little more noise. Go ahead and make noise. a change. We got maybe. time. While Dozer traded in the CB for the darter and began making random casts across the current, I searched the white sand on the far shore, hoping to spot the blunt shape of a lemon or possibly a bull, but the sharks are nowhere to be seen. Meanwhile, Dozer's darter attracted company, but it wasn't what we were looking for. What's that? What's that? What's that? Nice, nice cuda. This time, the darter provoked a mixed reaction, and the pecking order was imposed. Even small barracuda are fun to catch, and Dozer extended the moment, playing the fish gently. Oh, look at this little... Oh. Dozer is a classic case of a big man with a quiet nature. He's been on the water all his life. I've seen him go places and do things that few have the courage to even try. But when he handles a fish, it's with the surest touch I've ever seen. He has that extra sense that all good fishermen have. A sense born of respect for wild things. Fine if you just grab him real firmly right behind the head there. They usually cooperate pretty good. What do you do if you can't get your hand around them? Oh, wait a minute. Looking for that big mass of pink coming up there. Well, your feet are leaving the deck when you make those cats. <laughs> We still weren't seeing any sharks, so we pulled along the edges of a string of small islands where the constant wash of seawater was cool and full of oxygen. 
we were operating on the theory that the sharks were feeling the midsummer heat. Might need to get just a little closer um, okay. with this plug. It's just it's so hard to cast the CV into the wind. I think, I think I'm pretty good, though. Let me tell you what, that's good, that's good. Boy, that is a serious, look at that ledge. Be come to fun, it'd be fun to come dive that. Oh, here he comes. Ow! Big grouper, big grouper, Huge flipper. Grouper. Flip, serious grouper. I'm going to the I ledge, John. I think I'm in trouble, bud. Huh? I think I'm in trouble on this one. Is he over the ledge? No. You yeah. Go? He's got me wrapped around something. Okay. I still feel him good, though. Let's see. Let me work around here. Um, let me what go. has he got me? I can't tell what he's got me on here. That Try to. Oh, look over that ledge. Yeah, all the darn. He's just, just a little too big for me. He's got me wrapped around a little sea fan. Okay, 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 okay. Here we go. Yeah, sorry, Flipper. <laughs> look down. That was a 15-pound black. Look down. Look at uh, all the group. Look at all the snapper to your this right. This is like an aquarium right here. We got a bunch of gags here. Let's back up and re-rig. Yeah. We traded places, and I no sooner got settled on the casting deck than we saw our first shark in quite a while. Another lemon basking up on a ledge. Okay? Yeah, whenever you like. Okay. Whenever um, you. You ready? I'm still way far away from Okay, you. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get you one. That's right. Made kind of a bad turn for us there. Wish you'd make it turn this way. I'm going to just let it go behind him. What is wrong oh, with these him? sharks? Act like a shark. Come on. Flippy's thinking about something else, man. I don't know how you can do anything different. Yeah. Yeah. I am stumped, bud. Yeah, Flip, I, I, I'd let him go. He's, he's got his mind on something entirely different. Wish we could figure out what it is. I don't know, but it's not eating. Doesn't leave a lot, does it? That's the second one. I mean, yeah. do you think it might be the fly? Boy, it might be. Why don't we? Are you thinking another color, maybe? You know what? Let's go with the third refusal rule. Okay. If we get one more refusal, okay, we can you know, try. let's try a different color. We maybe go to a dark fly. This one's so dark light. Dark or yellow, maybe. Yellow, anything. I'll do Who anything. Knows? Oh, Mike, let me spin you around. Let's keep, we're, they seem to be coming off this thing. Let's go, let's keep working up like we've been doing. That yeah. seems to be working so far. They seem like they're coming out of this pass from the yeah. ocean, coming toward us. Now the sharks began to show up, one after the other, emerging from wherever they had been, probably in the right deep water out near the breakers. But now they were here, and we were ready. No wonder he's so little. Oh, he's watching. What happened, Doze? Flip, I mean, he just, he got him finally to eat the thing. Yeah, I mean, he did hit the, the fly. lemon shark, yeah, a little lemon, yeah. Okay, well, that's a good sign. Yes. Come on, big boy. He's coming, he's coming. He's coming, Flip, he's high. Look at these turns on this shark. Is that, look, look, isn't that unusual? Look how we got two cuts coming here. We got a big hole right between these little islands. It's probably just full right from the top to the bottom with big mutton snappers and bar jacks. Wow. Boy, right there. Boy, I thought he was going to eat I did, too. Thing. He looked real interesting, especially when he came back in that second shot there. Dog on him. Why are they being like this? Is it something I said? Uh, I don't think it's anything you said. You, you, I thought you were fairly polite. Flip, what do you think about that CB? A little more flash, maybe. Maybe, uh, maybe we need to get a little quicker bite. I, when they start following like that, it seems like we're getting, you know, they just don't... 
if we can just get that quick, quick hit, maybe. Why don't I? Well, I'll be glad to change. I think we should. Yeah, try, let's okay. try. Let's, let's try everything. Okay. And we did. For the rest of the day, we threw every plug and fly in the box at those sharks. Poppers, streamers, deep runners, and surface busters. We used fly rods, spinning rods, casting rods, and we retrieved slow and fast and in between. And although they often window shopped, not one was serious enough to buy our wares. It was the single most frustrating day I've had on the water in a long, long time. And I came away from it with an even deeper respect for these that animals. That, that he, was, he was lit up and just looked like it was going to happen there. I don't know the answer. Whatever it is. Well, I can't believe he's running again. These things are good fighters. Yeah, they really fight are. what people think. Can't, God, he's just a tough shark. But now, six months later, it's reassuring to feel the heavy throb at the end of my line. Ooh, he's come, God, he just made a look at that turn. Is that him coming at us? Yeah, watch out. God, I can't believe he's he, Where'd that come from? God, he's going to make me... God, I hate that when they do that. Should be getting near the Boy, end. These things are so strong. Yeah, anybody that tells you they're not tough, just... God, we should be getting near the end. Every time I think you have got him, he makes a good move. We got him fairly close, but he just doesn't want to come yeah, to the surface. The leader's been out of the water a couple times. If you feel like you want me to, just let me know and I'll hop down and we can do a quick release on him. I think we better, yeah. Okay. It's nice to know, Doze, that as hard as these sharks seem to be for me and as unlucky as I am with sharks, every <laughs> once in a while, I can still get one to the boat. Here he comes up again. He's coming up to the surface yeah. now. Well, almost to the boat. <laughs> yeah, he's a little too big to be handled. He's right at the surface. Wait a second. I'll back up and okay. I'll get the line to you. Okay, well, I can get the leader. This, he's right there now. Okay, ready? <laughs> Woo! Got it last, huh? Good job. <laughs> that was a tough shark. That was fun. Okay. It's nice to know it can still be done, you know? <laughs> <laughs> who'd, who'd have thunk it, yeah. Who'd have thunk it. Whew. Well, thanks for your help. Well, okay. You know what? I think we're going to get wet here in a minute. Yeah, I didn't too. Suit up and get out of here. God, who'd ever thought a shark would wear you out like that? Good morning. Hey, hi, Flipper. How you doing, man? The place is Flamingo, and the houseboat belongs to my companion, Ted Jurisic, a master machinist who came here after the 1956 Hungarian Revolution. Today, while he retains his strong European heritage, Ted's also more American than a bass player. In his three decades in America, Ted's managed to build a thriving tool and die business, design and manufacture the finest saltwater fly reel on the market, and along the way gain a lot of friends. I'm one of them. And so is that Osprey. As you'll see on this trip, Ted Jurisic has a deep fondness for all things wild. He displays it with an undying and unabashed delight. And for anyone who loves wilderness, we were in the right place. Running under the wing of one of our major wildlife symbols, and along the southwestern edge of one of America's greatest national parks, the Florida Everglades. 1.2 million acres of the way it was. Where brown pelicans live easy among one of the largest and most varied populations of bird life to be found anywhere in the world. More life burgeons beneath the waves. Millions of surface-busting mullet provide sustenance not only to the great numbers of game fish, but to the glade's royal families that travel the airways. An osprey hustles some food back to its nest, while an American egret tentatively greets the day. The Everglades has undergone significant changes over the years, but still constitutes a unique sanctuary. But for all its current charge of life, the Everglades is a shadow of its former self. Despite four decades of federal management, external environmental problems threaten its future.
But for Ted Jurisic, a single roseate spoonbill holds great meaning, which is one of the reasons that I enjoy fishing with him. And on this particular day, it was as though all the wild residents of the Everglades had come out in honor of Ted. Not the least of which was a lemon shark that was more hungry than playful. Something was waking here. I... Boy, it's a good size alligator right here. Whole food chain, including the alligator. Look at, and, and he's, look at where he is, right edge of this hole, you know, where uh, all the fish have to come out of, come off the flats, you know, when they come. If he's waiting for the redfish, he's out of luck. Okay. You ever seen an alligator come to the push pole when you could splash the push pole like this? Oh, look, 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 look at him. Yeah. You know something? He's not even concerned about us. At I all. know, I know. He just looking at the tank and Look how light and yeah, color see, he is. How, listen to him. See, oh, I see. He blows through his nose. I never know how he makes that sound. That's you trying know, to When scare. a porpoise blows, you know, out of his hole, that's how this alligator blows out of his nose. Listen to that. Listen to that. That's a bluff, you know, to scare us, I guess. That, I don't know. Well, this is the right depth right now we're in. Without... 80% sure I'm seeing a fish tailing down this way here. Well, right here is I seen a there. Look, look at the tail on that one. Yeah, I see him. I'm just trying to get you upwind of it. Yeah, it's a quite a few fish right there. One right there, one up there, right, right there. You still? See? I don't see him. There he is. Okay, Take the tail off. Dead. I see him now. I see him now perfectly. Nice. Okay, Akko, you got to turn me a little bit. Yeah, I can get you a little closer. Wait, let me just give two more good punches up here. Still a little too far, I okay, think. Okay, I'll get you in. If you want to be closer, I'll get you in. I think I could reach him. That's a good cast. Still I see him, I see him. Yes. Got to eat that. He likes it. All right. How great. Beautiful cast, Ted. Thanks, man. You know how to use okay. that reel all right? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Everything is okay. Everything is okay. Boy, he jumped on that thing. You know, I was... <laughs> Toward the boat. You're not wow. enjoying this, are you? Huh? You're not enjoying this, are you? Oh, God, he's swimming toward the boat. I My goodness. <laughs> he's swimming toward the boat. Dad, I think he's swimming toward the boat. Yeah, man. Wow, look at him. Trying to go under okay. the boat. Okay. Okay. There he is. There he is. Oh, come on, honey. Now, don't be. He's kind of frisky. Look at that. <laughs> He's kind of frisky. Be nice now. I'm going to let you go, so you've got to be nice now. They like to go under the boat, you know. This one sure does. Yeah, look at that. Well, look Ted, at that. Yes. Try to calm down. Okay. <laughs> I, uh, well, I get <laughs> excited on every fish. When I quit to get excited, I'm not fishing no more. Jump I can't right believe on. what a gorgeous cast you made to that fish, Ted. Huh. Well. Which was hard because of the wind. Well, you, you know, sometimes get lucky. Look how pretty that tail, that neon tail on that thing. I'm going to come down from here, Ted, and give okay. you a hand with that fish. Okay. And there we go. Oh, she's still pretty frisky, boy. Why do you say she now? Is this well, a she? Well, anything big and good looking like that, that's a she. <laughs> you know. Oh, look at the colors on there. What a pretty fish. Wow. Great. Great. Look at she's swimming. Good man. <laughs> Great. Thanks, Flipper. <laughs> Great. Great. Oh. 
so shallow in that flip. That'll get him, though. Ooh, 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 ooh. Damn, you <laughs> believe it broke the tippet, I said on it, broke the tippet. He was going away and I was going this way and broke the tippet. <laughs> Look it. <laughs> hey, it's my turn. Broke my tippet. It's my turn You now. believe that? You're out of there. Let's look on this side flip right here. The other side, water was still a little bit too high. Hey, Flip, take a look over there. Right there, 11 o'clock. Here? Yeah, right around there. Just keep an eye on it. He, yeah, okay, he, he's I 11 o'clock. Yeah, I see him. Nice redfish, yep, 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 yep. I'm not gonna move. Watch this now. Watch not this. gonna move. Well, he didn't see it. Rascal. Oh, what a nice cast flip. You didn't see that either. Okay, now that was. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Okay, good, good, good. He is a slippery dog. What happened? I'll be done. What was that all about? Was it something I said? <laughs> I told him, and you called him a dog, man. He heard it. And, Wait, don't be calling these fishes all kind of names, man. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Call him the dog. Oh, okay. Why did you call him your slippery Mr. Fish? <laughs> oh boy, look at the osprey over there. Look at all them mullet is showering over there. Them, the mullet knows they scared of that osprey more than anything else. I wonder if he can see him a whole lot better than we can, huh? Oh, I bet you he could see it much better than we can. And not only see it, but he could catch him. Now, wait a minute. And, and we can't, and he can't. Now, wait so, a minute. That osprey is a pretty neat bird, boy. And he makes his living fishing. You know, we make our living something else. Hey, Flip, right here. Great cast, great cast. He sees it. He Oh, he charged that thing and missed it. I can't believe that. I can't believe he charged that fly and he missed it. He overshot the fly. What I can't believe is that you saw that fish in this mud. Yeah, well, he come up for a second. You know, his tail was out, then he sunk back down. He put yeah. back out there one time. Okay. Then we'll go on. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna hold you right about here. All right, flip, all right, all right, oh, great, 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 all right. Man, he come out of that wide hole and just ate that thing. That's super. <laughs> That's great. Well, what are we going to call this place? We could call it Twin Crick, I guess. We got two cricks nearby, so let's like name it name. Twin Crick. Coming in there, oh, look at that pretty little thing. Look at that. Notice bird. how he's not as coppery in color as some of the ones you catch in open water. He's almost picked up the color of this mud in here. Yeah. All right, Flipper. Redfish. Good job there, buddy. Thank you, Ted. Good job there, buddy. I'm gonna just pick around in this shrub. This looks too good to pass up, Ted. Yeah. Did you ever do any fishing before you came to this country? I don't mean this Everglades country, but I mean to the United States. Oh, yeah, when I was a little kid, I uh, born and raised next to a Danube River in Budapest. And uh, when I was just a little tiny kid, I remember around five, six years old, my uncle took me down a Danube fishing, you know. What would you fish for there? Carp. We fished a lot for carp, and uh, right next to the uh, Danube River, 
had a lot of bomb craters, you know, when doing a war, they try to bomb the uh, bridges, yeah. and they missed the bridges, and they had big, deep craters, and uh, used to fish for sunfish, you know, catch some pretty nice-sized sunfish, and quite a few times skipped school and went fishing, and <laughs> my, my dad used to give me a little bit of talking to and a little bit of whooping here and there. Sounds like you're writing my life. <laughs> Pretty shoreline, Ted. A little ways, there's a little tiny creek. She's all grown over. A little over to the right. A little right about there. Yeah, right about there is a big old tree. Oh, yeah, yeah. okay, right here. Right there, both <clears throat> sides of it, going in this little creek here. You could reach him? Oh, yeah, I can reach it. Okay, I'm going to kind of stay out for a minute. Yeah. Come on, baby. Come on, little guys. Ooh, was that one? It might be, as a little bubble came up there. They, you know how do they bubble a little bit when? There, yeah, there he's rolled, there. you there see him is. rolling? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Come on, little guy. Work it nice and easy. All right, all right, flip, all right. Okay. A little tarpon, I think, Ted. Huh, that could be a snook too, you know. Could yeah, he be. was laying next to that Whoa! Beautiful little tarpon! Beautiful <laughs> little tarpon! I'll be done! Great! Don't, don't great, jump again great. in those trees! All right! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Head! Yes! Yes! Now, what are we going to call this? Secret Creek? No, 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 no. Secret Creek, man. It's so secret, I don't even know sometimes where it is. <laughs> <laughs> you see all the camouflage on top of it? Wow! Wow! <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I gotta take it easy. But, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. He's going off. Oh, oh. He has gone into the jungle. Let's go get him. Let's go get him, oh, kid. Not in the jungle, man. Come on, come on, please. Oh, please. Look, not he's right where the mosquitoes live. Oh, come on, man. Oh, no. All right, all right. I go. Okay, here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Now, you're witnessing a miracle. Yeah, it is a miracle. Ain't no doubt about that. Ted, he was gone up in there. Gone. I seized them. I seized them. I seized them. He was just laying there. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Oops. A happy ending. That's and a happy another end. one. That's and a happy ending. Meant to be, man. It's just meant to be. That's the best way to release a target. Yeah. That's... You ain't using them rubber hooks, are you? Secret crick? It's so secret, look, you don't even know if it's a crick there. <laughs> Gosh, I love to fish these uh, redfish when they get on the stingrays like this in shallow water. I think the rays are in there grubbing and stirring up the bottom trying to find crabs and shrimp. And redfish just get on top of them in the mud and anything that moves, that redfish will grab it. Colby is uh, with the rays, you know. In this array right here, Ted. I think the one is what we want is 12 o'clock. I seen him. I, that's where he is. Up you here? see him? Right, right there. Right here? Yeah, yeah. yeah right okay, there yeah, is yeah, one. You're right. Working good, Flipper. Ted, his head is, he is. Oh, oh man. He is underwater. He comes up on top. Ooh. Ooh, you lined him and he didn't even know it. He's on. All right. Oh, damn. Oh, boy. The way he pounced on that, I thought you hit him for sure. Keep an eye on him. If you could see him, I could cut it off, you I know? I can't see him anymore. I, I think I see something dark right over there. About 12, 12, 12, 11, 50, right about there, right about there. Right here, I see him. You see him? I see him. Okay. It's look. Oh, geez, that's a snook, man. I knew it. I knew it. 
Oh my goodness, I knew it, I seized them. Oh my mackerel, Lindy, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> he was a sneaky laying next to the bush, you know. I and I just see the little dark spot out, but you know, the little dark, well, I can't talk. A little, <laughs> I get so excited I can't talk. I'd be done, that was just the greatest. He must have been That's hiding in the, the bush. Greatest. My goodness, he is great. Good. You can come down. You can come down and get him. Yeah. Okay. Let me just net him for you. Use use your hands, Ted. Yeah. Okay. Bringing him to you now. Okay. Oh, use the Vulcan snook lift. The yeah. Vulcan snook lift. Vulcan snook lift. Oh. Ted. Here's the walk and snook lift. And you spotted him. Oh you boy. Spotted him. You want me to try to dig that fly out yeah, of Yeah, if you can. I don't want to hurt him. That's a barbless hook, right? Yeah. Ten years ago, the snook was all but gone from these waters. But careful management has brought it back. And now those of us who fish the Everglades are determined not to allow this great game fish to be threatened again. If we're successful in holding on to the snook and the redfish, which now are under heavy environmental siege, it will be because of guys like Ted Jurisic, sportsmen who place high premiums on these fish and the Everglades, where all of us can still find a world of wilderness. Okay, buddy. Mr. Ted, that was a good fishy. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Okay, he's coming this way, Flip. He's coming this way. All right, all right, you got it. You got it. How was that for a cast? Good. You did it again from a zero to a hero in one cast. <laughs>